others, putting us first. Sorry. Um, or someone who's, do we want to like someone who has been, again, sort of working for himself, or do we want someone who's been working for us? Um, do we want to elect somebody who has never created a job? That would be John Varela, or someone who has been here weekend after weekend, hosting job fairs, helping to create jobs in this community, helping our people to find work in this difficult economy. Um, I have been privileged to work with Congressman Heinrich um, on some of the environmental issues facing this community. Again, he has been standing with us, working with the Air Force, working with the state government to make sure that we are protected, that our water resources are protected. And we need to keep that kind of um, energy, that kind of commitment working for us in Congress. Um, so again, it is really my pleasure, uh, my honor to uh, introduce our Congressman Martin Heinrich. How about a big round of applause for our County Commissioner right here. We are so lucky in the Southeast Heights to have such great uh, elected officials and uh, it's been wonderful to have Maggie uh, take up the mantle as our county commissioner. Uh, we've got great elected leaders all throughout this community. I see Senator Tim Keller back there uh, who has been just a, a rising star in the legislature. And I want to thank the uh, unusual suspects behind me who've been providing the uh, fantastic music today. That, um, that building across the street is where my son Carter was born uh, a little over seven years ago. And I was driving here earlier because we were out actually at the, uh, at the Pumpkin Chunkin' in Estancia uh, this morning and coming back and drove down Carlisle and, uh, near uh, where Carter goes to school now, Bandelier Elementary. And I, asked, I asked Carter, how many kids are in your class? And uh, he said 24. And if you really want to understand what's at stake this year, think about the fact that had the, the Democrats in Congress, people like Harry Teague and Ben Ray Lujan and myself, not stepped up, we would have had classrooms where there were 48 kids in the classroom this year. We would have had to have laid off over a thousand teachers statewide over 400 teachers just in this school district alone that we would have had to have laid off. And we'd have classrooms packed to the gills with 48 kids instead of 24 kids. And think about the long-term impact of that on our economy. And it really gives you an idea of whose side who is on. Uh, when you look at the vote that we did to fund teachers, to keep them in the classroom for another year, we paid for that legislation, every dime of it. And the way we did it is we closed a tax benefit loophole that corporations were using to get an American tax benefit to move American jobs overseas. And the Republicans voted against it because they said that was raising taxes on corporations, giving them a benefit to move our American jobs overseas. You know, I. I I grew up in a household where my mom worked in a factory. My dad was a, an IBW lineman. I, I really believe we can make things in this country again. And that what made us great in the 20th century is that we led the world in manufacturing and creating things right here in the United States of America. And as we've started to work on this economy, we've finally seen a resurgence in manufacturing jobs. We lost 8 million jobs in the Bush recession. Now we've gained almost a million back, but we have a long way to go. Of the jobs that we've gained back, over 180,000 have been manufacturing jobs. That's something that we have to continue. We can invest in clean energy right here in central New Mexico and put people to work making solar panels, installing solar panels, making, you know, when, you, when I was over in Estancia this morning, you look out at that mesa south of town, and you see those wind turbines creating electricity that we can use right here. Well, you know, that wind farm is one tiny little wind farm. The reason why it can't get any bigger is because we don't have the transmission yet to be able to utilize the energy. There are dozens of companies interested 
in expanding the wind resource in Estancia County. We need to have the leadership to make that possible so that we have good jobs here in central New Mexico for the next generation of New Mexicans so that my kids can grow up right here in Albuquerque. And if they want to stay here and get an education and get a good job, that that future will be there for them. That's what it's all about, our families and our community and our future. We're going to go on a walk today. We have a canvas leaving from right here, right after I get done speaking. And we're going to hit the neighborhoods through here. And it is so critical that we turn out these neighborhoods. We have a high democratic proportion in this part of town. If this turns out, it votes well for all of us. And it is incredibly important that everyone vote early. And let me tell you why it's so important that we vote early. On election day, all of us should have already voted. How many people have voted already? That's fantastic. It's so important that we vote early because we don't have an election day anymore. We have an election month. Election day is your last opportunity to vote, not your first. And for us in the campaign and on the field side, we want all of our campaign workers, all of our volunteers, the people that made this happen today, we want them working in the office all day long, out on the streets, knocking on doors. And we need to focus them on the people that forget about election day. They, you know, they get busy and, and they're unlikely voters. Maybe they vote every couple of years, every four years, every six years. We need to turn those folks out. And by getting the regular voters, all of you who are four for four, you're always going to be there. You're always going to show up and do the right thing. By getting you to vote early, by getting you to vote absentee, it allows all of our volunteers and all of our field staff to focus in on those unlikely voters and make sure that they make it to the election booth on election day. So if you can walk today, if you can go door to door in one of these neighborhoods, please, Please see our field staff here. Come see one of the folks in the green shirts. We will give you a packet. We'll give you everything you need to get started. And thank you all for investing in the future of Central New Mexico. Woo!